Happy Saturday, everybody. We're in Disney World. Woo! Gosh, you're here two times in one week. Woo! So this is the bag check line at Hollywood Studios at about six o'clock at night. So one guy checking the bags and just an astronomical amount of people waiting. Do you hear what I hear? Hey, there's a Christmas tree. We're at Hollywood Studios, not Universal Studios. Saturday night, we're gonna have some fun. So it's packed here again, and just by contrast, Universal and the other parks today, not that busy. I'm still not sure what this stage is gonna be used for, but the stage construction is all done. So it's just kind of sitting here and waiting. I'm guessing it's for some type of Christmas show. So as far as popcorn buckets go for Star Wars, they still don't have them yet, but they got those Mickey Mouse buckets. They're pretty cool for Christmas time. So just a quick update on this launch bay. It is rumored that this will soft open on Black Friday. I am not sure if that's the truth. I'm just telling you what I've seen online. But Black Friday, it's rumored that this would open. If not, I've heard that this would open for real on December 1st, which is not that far after Black Friday anyway. And I believe it's gonna mimic the one that's in LA or Anaheim in Disneyland where you're basically gonna have a light side and a dark side. So you'll have a meet and greet with Vader and Boba Fett and the other side of meet and greet with Chewbacca. And you'll have all these different types of displays out there. By the way, in one man's dream right now, they have a preview going on for the good dinosaur. We've got a fast pass for Midway Mania, Toy Story. Fun, fun, fun. Toy Story. I would trade this ride in a minute for Cars Land, but not gonna happen. That's a big crayon. Is there any significance to the numbers on the dominoes when you pass them? I don't know. Anybody else know? Harder to hit targets are worth more. Guess who? Wheezy! So the regular line for this ride right now is 105 minutes. I can't believe that people actually wait that long. And I guess if you're on a vacation, you're kind of trapped, but have any of you guys actually waited that long? What was the longest you waited for a ride? Let's do one try. That ride is a lot of fun. Not 105 minutes of waiting fun, but just as a reminder again, where it says hot set behind me, that's where they're building another track for that ride. So Toy Story Mania is gonna be revamped as part of the whole Pixar Land build out. And at the back lot tour building, that's where Santa Goofy is meeting now. He's way hidden in there. Actually, there's a guy online that looks like Santa Claus. But besides him, Santa Goofy might be in there. I don't see him right now, but the line's not that bad. Oh, it's more lights. They're playing Mary and I's song. But she's home. She didn't want to come out today. It's the slow songs. It's Lady Gaga's house. What? Uh, I've never noticed this little tribute to the Muppets up here. So you got Miss Piggy and kind of like Muppet eyeballs up there in the ornaments. this indeed. I like the way they make this fire hydrant look like it's leaking water. That's pretty awesome. By the way, Kermit's up there too. Kermit! Do you want to go on Star Tours? Yes, I really, really do. We'll see. 
can't see the rebel soldier. The Hat Hat is lit up, but it's not breathing fire or firing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Did it break again already? So we're getting on Star Tours, but what I don't know if you guys realize is that you've seen Joey in videos before. This is good guy Joey, according to the usher. But Joey worked on Star Tours. He is actually the one responsible for doing the storyboarding and writing pieces for this actual ride when it revamped a couple of years ago. So he knows all of the insight, what was supposed to be here, what was taken out, and has all of the good secrets. And maybe he'll let you know a couple when we come back for the premiere of Force Awakens. It's a little bit of a teaser. He's gonna give you one treat, what was here before and is not here now. I won't give it away. There might have been uh, something that rhymes with wah, wah, on the planet Roth. David Lee Roth? Yes. He was in this ride? That's amazing. Van Halen cover band on the radio. You heard it here first. Look at the screen. Look at that it's Chippendale on the screen. And by this guy is back now. So the other day when we came, he was covered with like a tarp, but apparently he's back. I don't know if he's back for good, but he's here. In the way on the screen where everybody goes by, BB-8 just rolled by before, so that was new. Java. Another new character from the yeah. Force Awakens. We need a proper pilot. Both stormtroopers will be deactivated for sure. Hold it right there, Captain. No, I'm not actually the captain. We're looking for this rebel spy. Have you seen him? Sir Jar Jar die again. At least I think he's dead. I don't know. I guess it depends if you can survive getting hit by a spaceship that's driving underwater. We are gonna go on the great movie ride. Presented by Turner Classic Movies. There goes Kylo Ren's mom. Kylo Ren's mom is on the attack. Dun dun dun. Oh, she's withdrawing her saber. Dun 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 Here's some costumes from Star Trek. The motion picture. 1979. Singing in the rain. I'm not allowed to leave my vehicle. I said get out with you. I think it's time for a visit to a concession stand. Mr. Osborne! Bye. Okay, my dude, whatever you say. Hey. I don't you know my name anyways. Well, that's because I've seen this movie before. Damn, 
Excuse it. Baking powder. Science fiction has been a staple of classic movies, from George Melies' A Trip to the Moon to George Lucas's Star Wars. In 1979, director Ridley Scott and Sigourney Weaver made audiences believe that in space, no one can hear you scream. This is a hey, cupcake. How do we get out of here? Warning. Remain in your vehicle. The area you are entering is extremely dangerous. Proceed with caution. The emergency destruction system is now Harrison Ford as archaeologist Indiana Jones in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Season of Oz. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. I like that the car in front of us is completely empty, but they still had to have a girl post in that car so that she can interact with the witch. Otherwise, this would be ridiculous. Even more so than what it is now. That ride is awful. I've never liked that ride. It's good for taking a nap. Oh boy. It is absolutely pouring outside right now. I can't decide, should I get regular pins? Or Christmas pins or Valentine's Day pins already before Thanksgiving. Check it out, Mickey Mouse is giving the click sign. Well, that definitely wasn't the best. Uh, it's absolutely pouring outside. We had to walk back to the car for about a mile. So uh, I'm in the car, tons of traffic, and hopefully get home uh, maybe in like an hour and a half at this point. Hey, I am back home. It took like two and a half hours to make a drive that's normally not even an hour because of the rain and the folks that are in town now that are visiting from out of town because of the holidays coming up this week. So if you're visiting this week and you're not used to the roads here, please be careful. There's a lot of unsure drivers on the road. But on that note, awesome day, very long. I'm going to head to bed, get up, do it again tomorrow. So on that note, thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.